today I'm going to do a little bit of weeding. I'm trying to get as much on that compost heap in the next week before I do the changeover. I'm going to plant this bit of ginger that has a shoot growing off. That's about it. I should take some of that arugula, some of that field mustard. The field mustard, maybe I'm going to leave and take the pods, see what those are like. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll let it go to seed. And I want to squat down and have a look, see if I've got any Brussels coming up. Let's see if there's any cucumbers that must be taken today. A couple of times, two or three times, I've seen a big ant walking around. It's black and white, like the color of a panda. So I looked it up and it's actually called a panda ant. It's actually a of a kind of animal called a velvet ant, which even more confusingly is actually a flightless wasp. The females don't have wings, the male do. The male do, the male does, the males do. And there's a, most of them are like black and orange. And their other name is the cow killer because the stings are so painful that it could kill a cow. According to folklore, I doubt if it would really kill a cow. So this cute ant that I've been seeing walking around is to be avoided at all costs. Second, our house is suffering currently from a scorpion infestation. We find a couple of scorpions every day. So everyone has to walk around with slippers, even though it's super hot. And I don't know if you can see up there, and if you can hear, those are ibis. I've been hearing them, but I haven't been able to see them. I just saw a big group fly over. I've been hearing them for a while, but not seen them, but there they go. A very distinctive honking sound very cool looking bird if I see any close up I'll try and get a video I just haven't been able to eat the cucumbers quickly enough and some are nice like this but some of them starting to go white it means they're overripe see so I'm gonna pick all the ones that are like that or look like they're about to go like that that one's going on the end this one on this side and I'm going to do quick pickles or something with the salvageable parts it's a shame but I mean I've still got a ton on the vines but I just got to make sure to keep on top of them today I did some easy work repetitive but I cleared out all the longest grass from along here because I couldn't even see what was in here I found another sapajo squash. It's squashed, but it looks okay. I found one there. I found one there. There's another little one at the end. I found two there. A couple more in there. I'm not going to climb in there right now. So I got a bunch of grass for the compost and I found some more squashes, that's good. Uh, I found, a, I cleared out all the long grass from this bed as well. I found another watermelon that I didn't know was there, but it had end rot. Just seems to be a recurrent thing in here. Just needs more calcium in the soil. So that was today. I went hunting for ducks with my well, with Felix's catapult slash slingshot. I do that every day, once or twice, in the big tank over there. Haven't got anything yet, but I've got close. One of these days, a duck or a pigeon. This one's coming up nicely. 
There's another one down there. This football looking one. Look. This original one, this was the first one. Let's see in there. That's changing colour. I guess you can see that's kind of weird looking. You can see why they're called lead grey. It's still greeny, but now you understand where they're getting it from. That one's kind of misshapen as well, I hadn't realised. And there's this one down here. This one is not misshapen. It's so huge. Anyway, tomorrow, Sunday, lazy day. I'm going to make a chocolate zucchini cake. That's about it. Tomatoes again. A few more days.